guys, welcome back to HD Arachnids. I'm Dave. We've got my wife Helen behind the camera. Hi guys. And today we're going to be doing part two of our collection tour. We did like maybe a month ago, we did a little bit of a collection tour and we're going to expand on that today. Uh, sorry I didn't get a video out last week. It was Thanksgiving on Thursday and I normally put out a video on Friday and I just didn't have time to throw anything together. Uh, we're up to almost 100 subscribers. I appreciate that, you know, you guys. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We, uh, we really like the support and we appreciate interacting with you guys and all that. Uh, I do want to give a shout out. I had uh, spoken to Steve Thornton a little while ago on Facebook. We just had a little conversation. He's the guy that owns the Tarantula Tastic Enclosures channel. I encourage you guys to go check out his channel. He makes some world-class enclosures. I mean, this guy makes better looking enclosures than pretty much anybody else out there. I'm a big fan of his channel and I really think you guys should go check it out. I'm going to link the channel in the description down below. So we're going to go ahead and grab some spiders and we're going to show you guys uh, some of our collection. The first tarantula from our collection we're going to show you is Ozzy and he is a confirmed male Therophosa blondie, like a true blondie. And we got him maybe six months ago from uh, Palp Friction in a mystery box. If you want to come over and zoom in on him. He just recently molded like three days ago so he's super dark and pretty right now. The hairs look real beautiful on the abdomen real fresh, so we don't want to disturb him too much. But he's definitely one of my favorites. I've wanted to have Therophosa Blondies since I got into the hobby in the 90s, and finally we got a, a sex pair now. We have a male and a female, so I'm super excited to raise them up, and hopefully they'll be far enough apart I can pair them and get some Blondie babies. Getting some good shots. It's just a beautiful spider. He's real skittish. I'm surprised he's actually letting us do this right now. He, uh, He's really, really bolty most of the time. All right, well, that is Ozzy, our Therophosa Blondie. And uh, we're going to move on to the next spider here. Hey guys, the next up on our spider collection tour is Tito, and he is an Acanthoscoria geniculata sling. Really, really cute little guy. You can see him down in there. He's got the nice little red hairs on the butts, and he's starting to get the, the telltale stripes on the knees there. One of our favorite little guys, this guy has a great little feeding response. We don't know if it's a male or a female yet, but uh, we just call him Tito because that's the name we picked out. I'm sure you've seen him. He's been uh, quite a few of our feeding videos. We've got some really good clips of him going after some crickets. He usually takes down crickets that are just about his size, no problem. Alright, get some good shots of that one? I think so. Alright, All right, guys, now we're going to move on to the next spider. Next spider is Scully. He's our Ephibopus Awatoman. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. <laughs> uh, some of these Latin names are pretty tough. Um, this is a really kind of a skittish spider. Um, he's actually out right now, so we can get a good shot. I just love the colors on the abdomen. He's got that kind of emerald green sheen to him, and then those leg bands right there. It's a really, really cool looking spider. This guy is a little bit weird. We got this nice hide set up for him and he actually dug all the way down into it and made himself a real nice burrow and then just uh, this last week or so he just decided he wanted to hole up in the corner over there and that's where he's been for a while. <laughs> he's a little bit of a weird spider. Alright. Alright guys, so we're going to move on to our next, next we have Bella, our Avicularia Avicularia Morph 6. Uh, she's just a little pink toe, if you want to kind of zoom in here. She's going to be real hard to see, so I might have to try to insert a picture or something right about here for that. Uh, she's yeah. all webbed up in the corner. I think she's in pre mold She might be getting ready to... Close yourself off completely and molt. Uh, this is one of my wife's favorites. She really loves the pink toes. Uh, we got her, what, maybe eight months ago? She was one of the first ones I got, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, we've uh, had her molt for us, what, maybe once. just once now so far? I yeah. thought she did twice. No, just once. Yeah, we've had her molt for us once, and then uh, we're hoping she's going to turn out to be a female, but we're not quite sure yet. I, I looked at the molt, and it, it, it looked like a female, but we don't know for sure, and I always wanted double check so we're gonna end up doing that but now we're gonna move on to the next right. next up we have Mickey and he is one of our Afonopelma Simonis uh, there's no point even taking a lid off of this these guys are you know 
notice any of you that have it upon upon this money now pretty much pet holes you can maybe see him he's right down in the corner yeah. over here he's moving a little bit he's moving. i can lift this up and you're gonna have a little bit okay put it back down uh, we're so. definitely gonna have to insert a picture of this one Um, they like, as you can see, a whole lot of substrate, and this one really uses it all. I mean, he's actually got pretty much the whole bottom of this critter keeper pretty much hollowed out, and he puts all the dirt up top, and of course he buries his water dish, just like you know, they all do that for some reason. But uh, this was uh, sold to us as a blue form, but uh, I mean, from all the stuff that I read on the forum, it's not necessarily even a separate thing. It's just some that look a little bluer than others. But, I mean, just in case, I'm going to keep them separate from the, the normal one that we have. And uh, I don't think we're going to pair or anything, so we don't have to worry about that. But, anyhow, we'll move on to the next spider. Next up, we've got Bernie, and he is a Tapanakinius violaceus. Hopefully I'm getting that name right. He's actually munching on a cricket right now. It might be a little bit hard to see. I don't know if you'll get a glare or not, but uh, right in there. And he's not real big yet. He's about the size of a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger. And I really can't wait till this guy puts on some size, because I don't know if any of you have ever seen pictures of the adults, but they're just beautiful spiders. They're called the, the violet tree spider, I believe, or purple tree spider. One of my favorites, so I'm really looking forward to him growing up a little bit. Or her, we don't actually know for sure. Uh, it's actually one of my desk spiders here. We got kind of a new setup going on here. I finally got a PC thanks to my father in law, and uh, we're gonna actually, I think this might be the last video I edit on my phone, and then uh, we got a direct or a power directed program for the computer, and so I'm gonna learn how to do it on the computer, and hopefully that'll make things a little easier, and some of these videos will look a little nicer for you guys. But anyhow, I guess we're going to move on to the next spider is Dolly, and she is a confirmed female Toledo Cattle Cellulosis. And this is one of our favorite spiders because she's generally always out, just sitting right there in that corner. And she's beautiful. She just molted maybe, what, three weeks ago, something like that? Yeah. So she's still looking really nice and fresh. I love the colors on the carapace there and all those fuzzy little orange hairs on her booty. And this girl's... Feeding response is just really, really good. I mean, she, she just literally attacks the crap out of anything you put in there. <laughs> I got uh, a couple of really good feeding clips. Maybe I'll throw one of those in here for you guys to see. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to move on to the All next right, spider. Now we have Ian, and he is a confirmed male Ceratogyrus darlingi. I don't know if we're going to get a real good view of this guy, but I know you can see his legs kind of peeking out of the hole right there. I love the way these guys web up their enclosures. We always, we have five of these and they all do a really, really good job of making some cool web designs in their enclosures. These guys are really nifty because they have that little horn on the back. I think their, their common name is the rear horn figure, rear horn baboon. And uh, we actually, like I said, we have five of these and this will probably end up being the, the first species that we pair and hopefully in a future video we're gonna bring, you know, we'll, get the pairing on video and hopefully it'll be successful. So we're going to move on to our next spider. Rosie, our Zenithsis Intermedia. Now this is one of my absolute favorite spiders. These things, when they mature, if they mature male, they're just beautiful and the females are pretty decent looking too. 
Uh, she's a little bit upset with us because I kind of poked her out of there and she's giving us that little threat posture. Just a beautiful spider. These guys are a little bit expensive, uh, but we got a really good deal on it, so we went ahead and picked it up. And I'm looking forward to getting a few more of the Zenitha species over the next few months. Uh, ferocious eaters. Um, really easy to take care of, actually, you know, just, you know, she doesn't dig or anything like that. She just kind of hides in her log, and that's about all she does, and she just waits for us to throw some food in there, and then she just goes bonkers on it. She's molted for us pretty regularly. I think I've got three molts out of her now in the last maybe five, six months, which is, you know, pretty quick, and each time she actually puts on quite a bit of size. Like, she, you know, goes up a good half inch or so each time she molts, and uh, looking forward to seeing how things go with the skeezy. So far, it's going really good, and, uh, I definitely want to get a few more of them and uh, hopefully my husband's here spot on and uh, they're going to do just fine. So we're going to move on to the next spider. We have one of the most recent additions to our collection. This is Ali, a Brachypelma Amelia. We actually got him from a good friend of ours that we met on the Facebook group, Kaylin, and uh, we've been kind of talking a lot and ended up trading a couple tarantulas and we got a hold of this one. Uh, this is one of my wife's absolute favorite species. She loves the Brachypelmas. These are like your classic tarantula that you see in all the all the movies and stuff like that. They got that beautiful orange and black coloration to them, and she's looking a little bit dull, like she needs to, you know, molt, but she's not quite in pre-molt yet. So I'm thinking she's got a little ways to go. These guys are incredibly slow growers, so you know it just seems like it takes forever from one molt to the next. Well, she's a beautiful spider. I love that coloration. I love the that deep black V on the carapace, the dark orange contrast and everything like that it's just really really pretty and i think we got one more after this so we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys last but certainly not least is one of the smallest tarantulas in our collection right now and this is pinky boo <laughs> my wife named this one of course uh it's a vicularia vicularia morph six used to be the vicularia metallica and if you want to come on in here i think she's right up on the side there it's gonna be hard to get a real good view of her i think but I don't know if it... And so far she's doing real well. Like you see, like you always hear with the avicularias, you know, you want to have tons of ventilation so you can see all the ventilation we got in there and just keep the water dish full and every once in a while I'm moistening down a little corner and she seems to be doing just fine. She has molted I think three times for us and it doesn't seem like she gains any size at all when she molts. It's just taking forever for her to grow. I think we've got her one of the first batches of spiders we got at the beginning of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah, so she's at least eight, nine months with us and she's still only Maybe the, size, maybe the size of a dime. But alright, that's the, the last spider we got to show you guys. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate the support. Uh, drop us some comments down below. Let us know what you think of the video and uh, what you think of our collection so far. And uh, we'll have some more collection videos coming out in the future. And then we've got a couple of rehousings planned and a few other things. And like I said, we finally got a computer, so we're going to be able to do a little bit better job of editing once I relearn how to edit on the PC instead of doing it on my phone. Um, appreciate you guys watching and we'll uh, see you all next week.